Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Peter back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today is October 12th, which means we are officially one month away from the future of gaming, which is the PlayStation 5. And waking up this morning, I was pretty damn excited to know that damn we are one month away from the launch of the next generation and i am so excited i know there's millions of people that are excited as well that have their pre-orders in and for those that don't have their pre-orders in all i can do is just recommend going to your retail stores early in the morning there's a good chance you may have to camp out for one and just uh try to get a ps5 at uh at launch without pre-ordering it not too sure if they're going to make any more pre-order waves but from what i've heard they're pretty much done with pre-orders it's just you know first come first serve as the units go on for sale as they allocate more stock to uh, every retailer so <clears throat> Just wanted to say that I'm excited about the launch and considering the fact that we're a month away from launch from the PS5 and as well as the Xbox Series X. People been asking me what's my launch looking like, title uh, launch lineup looking like, and today I want to discuss that. So I got, I will be, I'm guaranteed to get the PS5 uh, disc standard edition. So the one with the disc, the one that comes with the 4K uh, Blu-ray drive and i'm um, guaranteed to get a day one and uh the games that i do plan on picking up uh, for it alongside my console i do obviously plan on picking spider-man miles morales uh i'm excited to play that uh definitely gonna enjoy that from what i've seen when they've teased it when they showed off the actual gameplay of the actual game and it reminds me so much of spider-man 2018 but I'm excited for this one because graphically it does look better as obviously it will be better because it's running on newer hardware and just the ray tracing and the reflections and shadows and just the overall core mechanics of the gameplay and as well as the actual overall uh, resolution of the game. It looks freaking good. I can't wait to play it. There's going to be a 60 frames per second mode. Pretty stoked about that. I also do plan on picking up NBA 2K21 alongside with Miles Morales. Uh, I'm a big uh, basketball guy. I'm a big Sacramento Kings fan, as you can see. And I saw the trailer of the next gen uh, 2K21, and I was blown away. Uh, it looked graphically. It looked like a next gen game. It actually looked a lot better than most of these next gen games, how they're looking like so far. And can't wait to see uh, how the gameplay is. I'm hoping that it's better than what it's been recently. And I just remember 2K14 coming out when I picked that up for my PS4. Like my jaw dropped. That was revolutionary at the time. That's probably considered one of the best 2K games ever made. And I feel like, uh, hope that we get that moment with 2K21. So... I'm excited for that. I can't wait to play with my Sacramento Kings on 2K21 on PS5. I also do plan on picking up Godfall as well. I I know people, a lot of people are kind of 50/50 about it, but it's like it's a launch game. It's a new for a new console. Why not? Let's give it a try. Let's pick it up. Let's see how it is. This looks like it's something new, something different. And I know there's already a PC port that's available for it. But I, uh, I'm open to trying it. From what I've seen, the gameplay and the graphics, uh, it looks like it's something different. And the way the game is like lit up, like the lighting, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. It's action. Looks like it's super fast paced um, action. And it's like a, sh a looting game as well. So uh, I definitely want to pick that up, give it a try. So Miles Morales, NBA 2K21, uh, Godfall, and... I do plan, I think Astro Playroom is already pre-installed in every PS5, so that will be another title that I will try out at uh, on launch. But I do eventually want to pick up Demon Souls. I don't know if I'll pick it up uh, day one, but 
I think eventually I do I will pick it up just because I want to have time devoted to uh, Miles Morales, and also I have want to have time devoted for Cyberpunk 2077 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla for my Series X. Oh yeah, and uh, Black Ops uh, Cold War that comes out the day after, so definitely gonna have time for that. But Demon Souls, I'll definitely find a way, maybe Christmas time, or maybe just. Whenever I get a chance, I will definitely t- uh, catch it. It looks really, really freaking good, guys. It really does look good. And uh, I will eventually invest in Demon's Souls. Now, as far as accessories like the charging station and the headset and the camera, I will put that on pause for now. I don't. I plan on picking up the charging station, but I think as of right now, I'm going to pick up a... I probably won't pick up an extra DualSense controller. Uh, I heard that Sony is going to come out with the variety of colors uh, next year. So same thing with the day with the, what they did with the DualShock 4 and PS4. It's only a matter of time. We're going to get a color wave of controllers and possibly faceplates too for the console. That looks like they're swappable. So that's pretty freaking cool. And I was going to pick up a charging station, but like I said, I think I'll just uh, charge it with the Type C for the time being. And if I do get a controller. I will consider getting a charge station then. Uh, camera wise, I have my webcam. If I want, if I'm in a stream, I think I'll just hang on to that for right now. But I do know that they're coming out with uh, 4K 60 uh, webcams that are going to be mainstream eventually. But I'm still rocking a 1080p camera. But I should make the jump to 4K because everything with these consoles is just 4K moving forward, I guess. And let me see what else I'm trying to think. No stand. I think it comes with the stand. And I plan on just having my console uh, set up uh, not horizontally, uh, vertically. I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to keep it standing up and kind of make some room for it in my cabinet. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for my launch uh, to lineup. So Godfall, 2K21, and Spider-Man Miles Morales with Astro Playroom. So that's four games right there that I'll probably have that I should, uh, probably that I will have for launch. And I'm really hoping that they Sony just shows us a a snippet or just maybe a demonstration of the UI. I really really am eager to see how that is and how that's going to be. Uh, I can't wait to see that and I just most importantly I just can't wait to get my hands on this unit guys this PlayStation 5 I'm so excited uh November 12th it's going to be a Thursday here in America so uh for those of you that are watching I really do hope you guys will be able to find a PS5 if you haven't and for those of you that who have already pre-ordered and have it on lock uh, I can't wait to enjoy it with you guys uh I do plan on being online uh, I'll definitely. I did plan on creating a new gamer tag for PS5, just because. But maybe I won't. Maybe I will. But we'll see when that time comes. When it's we're closer to launch. I know Series X is going to have uh, a lot of a lot of stuff as well in terms of like their quick resume and their SSD and their backwards compatibility games, which I've seen tech demos of that and. It's looking like that backwards compatibility team, man. Power up to them. They've definitely upscaled and up up the frames on uh, current Xbox One X games. So looking forward to testing that out when I get my Series X as well. But I'm definitely excited for the PS5 launch, guys. That's going to do it for me. I just wanted to share my launch, t- my launch lineup with you guys and what I plan on getting day one with the console. Uh, let me know what you guys are going to get. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I would greatly appreciate it. And share with friends and family. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Take care. God bless. And keep pushing forward, guys. Peace.